Morning, the IRS and Treasury Department are taking aim at a major tax loophole that's used by the nation's wealthiest earners. The agencies announced a plan yesterday to close the loophole used by some filers to avoid paying taxes. Officials say the move could generate more than $50 billion in additional tax revenue over the next decade. For more, we're joined by friend of the show, Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver. Caleb, good morning. So let's start with the loophole. What exactly is it? How is it that some feel it's been exploited? Yeah, it's called basis shifting, but in accounting parlance, related party basis shifting. This is really the practice of transferring assets to affiliated legal entities to secure tax deductions, taking a depreciation on that and paying less taxes. So companies transferring assets maybe to executives or to investors who set up pass-through entities, limited liability companies, and they get them at a cheaper price and pay less taxes on it. Treasury Department says uh, wealthy taxpayers have been avoiding paying taxes on this for a long time, about $90 billion over the last 10 years. They're trying to close that up in addition to other loopholes that they say the wealthy exploit. So what happens next? What does it take to actually close a tax loophole? Yeah, you have, this is a proposal by the IRS and the Treasury Department. It gets voted on by the commissioners. The commissioners will probably vote on it. This crackdown on tax loopholes for the ultra wealthy, this has been a big, big uh, priority for the Treasury Department and the IRS since Joe Biden got into office. They've been trying to make taxpayers pay their fair share, as the president says. So, I mean, this loophole has been around for years. Why has it taken so long to try and close it? Why is this happening now? Well, the accounting industry is pretty powerful, and this is a loophole that exists because of the creation of what we call pass-through entities or limited liability companies. This is a very common practice. You and I probably don't have to deal with it, mm -hmm. but if you're an executive of a company and you get a uh, transfer of assets, you usually set that up in a company, not to yourself, because you pay at a lower tax rate. So they're trying to close that loophole. Plus, you get a depreciation of those assets. In other words, you get them at a cheaper price than they're actually worth. That's what the Treasury's trying to close right here. And they say they're going to raise $50 billion over 10 years. That's only $5 billion a year. But it's yet another effort that the Treasury and IRS are trying to make to get more money in to the Treasury Department. Just $5 billion a year. You, you say there are other efforts. I mean, are there other loopholes that they're trying to close? Yeah, and the Treasury Department actually got $80 billion. And the IRS guy should say, got $80 billion through the Inflation Reduction Act to do more audits. They need to do more audits in order to find the loopholes to close them. So they're looking at things like uh, deductions for private jets. They're looking at other uh, private back taxes that you might get, you know, millionaires not paying taxes for income they earned over the past few years. These are the types of things they're trying to close. It's not going to affect most people, but the ultra wealthy, the 1%, have very creative ways of avoiding taxes and then getting assets at a lower rate. This is what they're trying to close up now to try to raise more money. It's going to be a battle, though. And some of us would say it might sound like a good idea, but this is controversial, right? Yeah, it's controversial because yeah, millionaires and billionaires, they use these loopholes in order to transfer money around, and nobody really wants those to end if you're getting that kind of money. So it's a proposal. It'll probably go through. We'll see what happens in the fall. Though. All right, Caleb Silver walking us through it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.